Now, all right, we're going to be talking to you a little bit on building yourself up. So the exercises will continue. Let's just look at, I'm going to look at a few scripture. Uh, in, let's just look at Matthew 4, 4. In Matthew 4 and 4, we're going to look at Matthew 4 and verse 4. What it says, read it. Verse 4. But he replied, it has been written, man shall not live and be upheld and sustained by bread alone, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Now, based on the scripture, maybe 70% of persons on the earth ignore this. Put it back up again. Now, this is God's instruction to men or to man in the earth. He replied, it has been written, or God says, man shall not live by or be upheld by or sustained by bread alone or your job alone. That's what that means. Not hard or bread, not grotto bread. Your job alone. But by every word that proceeds or that comes forth from the mouth of God. So let me read it then. So it gets into every part of your being. But he replied, it has been written, Man shall not live and be upheld and sustained by his job alone, his work alone, his hustling alone. But man shall be, watch this, upheld and sustained by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. You see what I just did? So, so what I do is, I instead of you shall not live and be upheld or sustained by, your, by bread alone, we're going to use those same words. He's saying then, man should, be, man should live and be upheld then and sustained then by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. But listen what the problem is. We don't know what comes from God's mouth. Because unless a pastor or somebody teach you, you won't know. So listen what comes from the mouth of people now. Curse word. Bad word. Cuss you. Chat you. Bex with you. Talk on me feel. By our own words. And we don't understand that that's the first mistake because majority of us, we live by a job. So if we don't get paid, we say, oh, we're going to manage. Okay? And if you lose your job, then the next thing comes is oppression or depression because rest assured, the devil is going to haunt you with it. How are you going to manage? How are you going to do this? How are you going to do that? But I want to show you some principles that you don't need money to have money. That's why he said that. Don't live by your job alone, but live by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So we have two systems. The kingdom of the world, the kingdom of God. God's intention from day one was for every person who accept Jesus as Lord and Savior... To live by a different system. When the scripture says we are ambassadors of Christ. In the natural an ambassador does not depend on the country where he or she goes to, to, to perform duties. For that country to help them or to feed them or be responsible for them. That ambassador. So if. The ambassador for the U.S. comes to Jamaica to work. Is U.S. responsible for everything pertaining to them? Everything. So if Bangarang down in Jamaica, a food shot down here, it not affect them. They are ambassador. If them fly food directly to you, food going to fly to you. Okay. So now that we understand that in the natural this is the challenge now. In the spiritual, we don't understand that. And then you have some leaders in church don't teach us so we understand that. So this is what happened now. We, go, we come to church. We give our life to God. 
But we didn't understand that there was a shift. God shift you from the kingdom of this world to his kingdom or his system. We were not taught to depend on God's system. We are taught as Christians to depend on the world system. So when the world treats you bad, we vex and depress and run go ball to God. Me no know no ambassador. When them come into a country, I hear said food shot. Them ball and call for it. Whoa, ho, ho, no bread, no dung here. Hello, you don't never, you don't lose that the work then. But yet still, this is how we are trained. Heaven, when God peep over the balconies of heaven, he must be saying, what in the world is going on? My children are not beggars or paupers. Why are you trying to live by your job alone? I didn't set that system. But somebody tell us, if you don't get pay, you can't manage. Remember, I walked through the scripture a few weeks ago where Jesus took the disciples with him on a journey and he said to them, don't carry no purse, don't take no wallet, don't carry no clothes, don't greet the man by the way, come empty-handed and I'm going to show you how to live. I didn't see none of them say, then boss, how are we going to manage? They might say it in their mind, you know, because the reality is, if I'm going on a journey and, 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 and the boss say no carry no money, that means I don't have no money. If him say no carry a change of clothes, me I go with one clothes from my back. Don't greet no man on the way so I can't ask anybody for no assistance. So in other words then, he's putting you in a position of lack and insufficiency. He's putting you in a position like you don't have a job. He's putting you in a position like it's one close on your back or you're stranded. Why is he doing that? He's teaching his disciples that you don't depend on people or things once you're connected to me to survive. So what he did is he took them on the journey and now he taught them how to survive but with words. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. So he taught them now the system that they belong which is one of words. So that is why when they followed him they watched him. Remember now 12 men are followed back of one man. And them follow back of him. The first thing they notice, him walk past a tree, and the tree now bear, and him say, No man eat fruit after you again, as forever, and thing. And everybody must have said, oh, What kind of foolish thing? Oh, what is? Me never see this yet. I'm gonna talk to tree. Talk the truth. If you a walk with me, I mean, stop and say, Tree, me not like how you move, you know. No man no eat not more after you. You wouldn't walk with me. I gone, you gone. But he's teaching them a principle. Nobody said nothing, but I can listen, rest assured. One and two much nudge them one another and say, Yes, we am the boss. You hear what I'm saying? If it's our own Jamaican term. Yes, we are going, dog. You hear what I'm saying, dog? Now, they watched him. The scripture record that in the morrow, the next day, they saw the tree dried up from the roots. They were astonished. He continued with them. Him go up into the mountain to pray. They rode out on some boats. Said, I'll meet you over the other side. He came to them. Him said, go and leave me. This is my version now. Him said, go and leave me. Me I pray. May we catch you up. All the boat them gone. All of them gone. Transpe gone. Here comes Jesus. I walk upon the water. Come and say, Hold on, you know. Me I say something to you. Know. Hear them ball out. Dopey, dopey, rolling calf. Dopey, dopey. Them ball out. The Bible said they screamed out. Why that happened? Them never seen nothing like this before. What was Jesus doing? Trying to frighten them and give them an heart attack? No. He's teaching them the supernatural realm. He's showing you that, listen, you, cannot, you can miss a ride. Bailiff can come take your thing. 
but that not stop you from walk upon the word. Glory to God in heaven. They move on further. A hurricane came. Them say, me dead now. Remember now, them no used to it. I'm teaching you systems. He spoke to the wind. Now, how can you talk to a hurricane you see to come category 5? And the ball out for murder. And the man get up out of the boat and say, peace be still. And then watch the hurricane just die down. You, you hear what they say? What manner of man is this that even the winds and the wind obey him? He never done it yet, you know. He walk off now, he pass in a funeral procession. He merely cleared the ball out. Why am I one pick the Why? Why? He just lick it. Pam, pam, pam. And say, young man, get up. And the boy get up. How much of you would have stayed? It's a principle, right? Now, the same disciples in the book of Acts were doing the same thing. They were no longer afraid. The same disciples now, it said, went out two by two. Peter shadow was doing things and miracles was happening amongst them. And it says, and it spread. All right. How it reached down to we. How we dance up. You know, see that's something wrong. It's supposed to spread all the way down to us today. That's why the scripture says, God is still looking for the manifestation of the sons. Now, it cannot happen if you're not taught. Jesus had to teach the disciple. So it cannot happen if you are not taught. So I have to teach you what to do when there is no money. Fret not in it. Suffering not in it. Because that not, that not in the equation. Why? I'm a kingdom ambassador. Psalm 23 says so what? The Lord is what? Find it for me there. Because some don't know what it says. And put it on the screen. Let us read it together. Let's see if, we, if I get it right. Put it on the screen for me. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall die of hunger. White squall shall kill me. The Lord is my shepherd. Bailiff must, must find me and lock me up. Okay. You think he was making a joke? No. I shall not lock. Why? If I make him my shepherd, then I shall not lack. So if lack comes, it can stay. Or else, the greatest violation is going to be God going back on his word. He says, heaven and earth shall pass away. But my word shall stand firm. So God is still looking for somebody to say, Ah, I'll catch you, your word never work. You never want, if not earth to pass away, that will never happen. So I'm saying now, the missing part must be us. Okay? So let's fix it. Him say now, don't live by bread alone, live by every word that proceeded out of his mouth. Let's go to John 6, 63. So in John 6, 63, what it says? Verse 63. It is the Spirit who gives life. It's the Spirit who gives life. He is the life giver. Uh -huh, keep going. The flesh conveys no benefit whatever. So the flesh is a way of thinking that does not line up with the Word of God. So the flesh... The flesh no benefit not not all. Read read now. There is no profit in it. Uh -huh. The words. The words. Uh -huh. Truths. Uh -huh. That I have been speaking to you are spirit and life. Don't don't move it yet. Remember, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Why? We learn it now. His words are spirit and life. Are spirit and they are alive. So if I have God's word in my mouth that are spirit and they are alive, 
then I'm going to get the same results he gets. Because Galatians 4.31 says, find that quickly, the minute I accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, something happened to me that Parson never tell me. Galatians 4.31. So brethren, so brethren or sistren, we who are born again, we who are born again, are not children of a slave woman. Or are children of the slave woman or the natural. We no longer natural again. Uh -huh. But what? But of the free. Uh -huh. The supernatural. Okay, let's let's move the bracket part. I'm not altering, but just for those who are watching internationally. Let's read it this way. So, brethren or sistren, we who are born again are not children of the natural, but of the supernatural. But who did tell you that? But you think you're natural all the while. You think you're normal somebody. So watch this now. He ensured that that transition was made from unsaved to save. From natural to supernatural. So if I'm a supernatural being or a spiritual being, then my words must be spirit and life. I have to find spiritual things because spiritual things go with spiritual things. So everything about me now is going to be more spiritual. So everything I do now, it has to be with the connection of the spiritual. So I get a car. I bless it because God says... In all my ways, I must what? Sometime. All the time. And he will do what? So if I get a car, I acknowledge God. It has to bless. If I get a house, what happened? It has to bless. If I have children, I have to bless. Because I know everybody have kids and them come out all right. So everything I get, I have to bless it. I wake up in the morning, who I talk to first? One to my wife. My son. My daughter. How much? Where them fall on the rank? Who is the first person we should talk to? God. Now there might be things that happen unexpectedly that may force them to be first. Like if them wake you up with something, you can't say, hold on, let me can't talk to you, I'm <laughs> talk to God. No, but, but in a normal setting, you go to your bed, you wake up in the morning, you talk to God first. Or if you wake up, your eyes open, your spouse might be on the bed, but you can be praying, them not for hear you. So you're not going to pray, no, and Lord, you, no, no bother with that. You can whisper. You can start your prayer like that. Okay? Now, in the traditional setting, old time setting, themselves forgot up our knee. Today, we can't advise that because no people have knee issues. If you go down, you might not be able to come up back. All right? So, what? You can pray in your car. You can pray while you shower. You can pray while you walk around your house. You can pray. So when people say me never have the time to pray, that's an excuse. Because now you don't find time, you make time. So while you cook, you can pray. While you shower, you can pray. While you drive from point A to B, you can pray. We good? So now that we know that we must not live by our jobs alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God, because God's words are spirit and they are alive. Okay. So therefore, I'm going to have to learn the word. So I have to learn the word because I'm going to live in the earth where you have natural men who lives naturally. So what it means is, you're not have to do nobody nothing. You can't get a new shoes. You can't get a contract. You can't, your kids can be doing well. And somebody raise up for hurt you because of that. I don't understand. 
I said you can get a promotion in an office. And the person who sits next to you. Feel like I never you should have get it. And all of a sudden. Them start burn bad candle for you. Now in case you don't think that is possible. I'm saying that's the first deception the devil work on you and it worked. That's why God says Isaiah 54, 17. Isaiah 54, 17. Find it quickly and put verse, it up. Verse 17. But no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Because he knows there will be weapon formed. Okay. But now, remember now, we're living by what? The word of God. All the time. That's how we have to live. Because we are no longer natural, but supernatural. And some of you, listen. I have been dealing with all different types of folks. Locally and internationally. And it's the same everywhere. If somebody don't like you because you're progressing, they fight you spiritually or naturally. But here it is, it says, put, put it back up. No weapon formed against you shall prosper and watch this. Every tongue. Now why would he put that there? God knows that it's going to happen. Him say every tongue that what? Rise against you in judgment. What? It shall show to be the wrong. So let me explain something to you here now. I need a, 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 a come here, come here. Okay, so let me show you how this works now. So Camille is here. I want to borrow uh, you, Marky. Come here. And uh, you're reading, so come here. Okay. So Camille is going about her business. Okay. All right. We are over here. She don't know. We, our tongue now. Where it say? Every tongue that what? What it said? Rise against you. Rise against you. So we over here, Camille don't know. And I said, over here, we can mean country, it can mean foreign, it can mean next door, it can mean in the office. We over here, so watch this now. Hey, you see the one, Camille? Me I tell you, it's a good somebody, you know. True, you're talking Yeah, man. We are some man, one, one coming and go on like, say, shine sh 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 in the body, you know. I saw one, eh? man. That's yeah, man. Like oh, her, you know, like them girls, you know, true. Yeah, man, I saw me and tell you, man. Oh, let me tell you something, man. You see, you see how when she come and she park over there, so, oh. Mr. Man, sure, oh, man, just tell him, say, no parking, no, they just say, no. Uh, okay. All of these are tongues rising up against her, but she don't know. So this is what happened now. Spiritually, it travels. Come, guys, watch me. It rises up against her, and eventually, it does this. Marky, you don't know, hug up. Your wife now say nothing, man. Hug her up, man. <laughs> Now, you are seeing this in the natural. But in the spiritual, she doesn't see this. Because she don't know them. What? No, come here. How you feel? Heavy. Eh? Heavy. Heavy? heavy. Why do you think you feel heavy? Why you trying to <laughs> Okay. So, why me give it to you, you trying <laughs> Yes, you drink dragon? <laughs> no, man, you must drink something, man. Hallelujah. Yes, brother. Yes, brother, you're strong. You must see he tax steal it. <laughs> Hallelujah. The woman are pulled hard away. <laughs> Hallelujah. I say, eh, eh. Yeah, okay. So I'm using her as an example. Okay. You see us here. And you could stay in your seat and say, look at all of them, all up on the woman, man, and thing there. But okay, spiritually, she doesn't see anybody, but she's going to feel heavy. There is a heaviness that she cannot explain that she feels. Sometimes it's tightening in the neck. Now she can't see it enough. Now, okay, why would that happen and she can't explain it? She don't lift no weights. 
But she get up uh, with this heaviness. Only because, put, put the scripture up. Tongues are rising up against her. It can be in the office. It can even be at church. It can be in the family. It can be a, a man who she leave. Tongues. But, but God put it here. He said every tongue that what? Rise up against in judgment. Well, it a very important word that you're missing. Read it. You shall show to well, Hold on. No, you have to do it a little bit. Who? After judgment, what you say? You. No, hold on. No, the first word. After judgment is what? You. Say it again. You. All right. What do you mean? Me. You, me. You have a work to do. What you shall do? Put it back up. Show to be in the wrong. It says this peace, this righteousness, this security, this triumph over opposition is the heritage of the servant. Listen, God is saying, I give you this authority to pull it down. But if pastor don't tell you that, and you don't know that, you go every, every day. You call it stress out, oppress, depress. Because you don't know that the last contract you get, black candle burn that you don't get no more. Listen, there are several at least, you know some who come and they, they come to see me. Musicians too, who they mash up in a life. And not because a natural, normal things, you know. It's because somebody just feels, say, you know, if you beat me again. You shine, too much light shine upon you, and too much picture you take. Me want to take picture too. And then feel like, say, if you know in the race, I'm going to win. Me invite my family, or my friends them, but you always in the way. Someone in our understanding may set in. So if me can't get you out of the race, then me will get the goal. And me go get the picture. You understand? So if me can make your muscle pull when it not fit pull, I give you a heel spur. You understand me? I just make you wake up and you don't remember all where your name. You just reach at the wrong stadium. You, 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 you for run as an upper stadium, sir. But you wake up and you, you, you reach a Mountain View Stadium, different stadium you there. Some of you laugh. You know how much people are walking, eat out a garbage pan and, and... Okay. But God has placed it there. So if you don't learn the word... So in other words, in the morning when I wake up, if I don't know this, I'm going to have to pray. Father, I thank you this morning for waking me up. May I acknowledge God. Father, I thank you, O oh God, for a good day today. I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I cancel and condemn every tongue that rises up against me in judgment. Me not going to stop this or doing it. But let us say that's all you know. Because if you know more, Isaiah 59, 18, 19. Put it up, King James. So I would move from no weapon form against me shall prosper. I pray me, I pray now. What am I doing? Clearing me way before me leave my house. Put up Isaiah 59, 89. Watch this now. What it said now? According, it looks like I couldn't now read it good. According to their deeds. Read it out today. Accordingly. What? Say the word again. One more time. To who? What else? Next verse. Now, 
Now, the original writing, I want to bring it to your attention. Put that back up. It says, when the enemy shall come in, it should be comma. So the comma is at the, right, at the wrong place. When the enemy shall come in, comma, like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. If the enemy come in like a flood, you'll flood out. This is lack of knowledge. So in church, most folks don't know any scripture. We don't know anything. So what we do now is, okay, we're having a struggle in our life, in our family, in our business. Okay, if you can pray this picture now, you serve God, you love God. You're in a church for 40 years. You take the church color. But you don't know the word. He said, live by the word of God. So it means I can't do this. It's just, Watch how mood I live normally. Oh Lord God Almighty, them have killed me down here. Oh Lord God, the place feel heavy. Oh Lord, me don't know, me don't know, Lord, something just seem right. Lord, I'm asking you right now, am I praying the word of God? No. I am praying how me know for pray, and that's not spirit. He said his words are spirit and they are alive. My word and no spirit and, and our life. No, I'm me a pray. I'm me a pray on my feel. 80% of the church and the body of Christ can't pray. I hear them on the radio all the time. They cannot pray. Mere top intercessor. You listen. Oh Lord God Almighty, the hurricane has come. Lord, don't make it flood we out. Oh Lord, remember when Gilbert did come on the roof, then blow off. Oh Lord God, have mercy upon us. Oh Lord, come by here. Hello. I know I'm prior to that. But you can't tell people, say, you're not pray. Them vex. Because they're not taught. You pray, Jesus says. I only say, let's look at it in John. Thank you, Anthony Camille. In John 12, I think 49 and 50. Here is Jesus' account of his approach. Verse 49. This is because I've never spoken on my own authority. No, this is Jesus. King of kings, Lord of lords. Now listen what Jesus said now. I have never spoken. I have never spoken. On my own authority. On my own authority. Or of my own accord. Uh -huh. Or have self-appointed. Uh -huh. But the father who sent me. Uh -huh. Has himself given me orders. Concerning what to say. And what to tell. You hear that? He, he said anything the father said. I that me I say. And I that me tell. See the nice part, you know, 50. And I know that his commandments... I know! That his commandments is or means eternal life. Or, when you see commandments, it means his word. Or when you see laws, his word. Precepts, his word. And I know that his word is mean eternal life. So see it here now. So whatever I speak, I am saying what? Exactly. No man, you, you have to read it because maybe me not read it good. What him say? For what? So whatso whatsoever or whatever I speak, I am what? No man, you read it. More you read it and read it out. Let's start again. And I know. Let's start from I know. One, two, three. Read. And I know. And his Turn alive. So whatever I speak, I am saying exactly my father has told me to say and in accordance with his instruction. Now if Jesus is Lord of all and he says, I only say exactly what the word says, then why you think you can do contrary? You see why people not getting prayers answered? Because we are saying what well, we feel for said. Jesus, who is Lord, God in the earth, said, so me not try that. Anything what me say, or what my father say, me I say. Matthew 4, 4 said, we shall not live by our job alone, but by everything where God say you for say, are you for say. Just like how Jesus said, the same thing me say. 
Jesus says, I live by the words where my father said. So how oh, you expect for in the earth now. And I live by where you feel for say. You see the problem? So from the pulpit, I hear several ministers saying, Lord, it's mash up. Lord, it's sick. Especially when I talk used to go on. It's sick. It's mad. Hello. Ho. You're not supposed to be. We're supposed to say exactly what God says we must say. And the only way we can do that, we have to learn it. That means every believer should be reading their Bible every day. What am I doing? Looking for a word that God says in a situation. Capture it. Highlight it. Study it. And then speak it in my situation. But majority of believers, we don't know how to do that. Next thing, Jude and verse 20. Then we get to the exercises. Jude and 20, and then I'll take some questions. Jude and verse 20. So it says now, so you see, you have to learn how to move through the scripture. Jude verse 20. It's only one book, one chapter. But you, beloved... Build yourself up. So God not do it for you. Like we pray. Oh Lord do this for me. Me or some people sing some song. Sometimes me don't know how them sing that song. Right? Them sing song. Uh, what do them say? Holy Ghost mash me up. Broke me down. Holy Ghost. You know. People. Hello. It's like a knowledge you know. And then the rest of them are singing. Holy Ghost broke me down. You know what? Holy Ghost broke you down. <laughs> it's like a knowledge. We sing the song. Holy Ghost broke me down. Eh? Broke me down. Holy Ghost broke me down. Broke me down. Numbers 14, 28. Let me come back to it. Let me show you what you're saying. You see all them songs where people are singing? Satan is on my track. I would have never, never, never looked back. A certain artist, I think I done it something. He did sing one song. Let's sing again. We fall down. We get up. A saint is just a sinner who fell down. A saint is a sinner. A saint can't be a sinner. You're either a saint or a sinner. Lack of knowledge. But we are singing it. Listen to what God said now. Because you think God no serious. Numbers 14, 28. Verse 28. Verse 28. Put it up. Tell them. Tell them. As so I tell me and tell you no. As I live, says Apostle Scott. Says the Lord. Say Brother Rodney. The Lord. The people from Atlanta, the Canada. The Lord. Okay, okay. What the Lord say? As truly... No. What you have said in my hearing, uh -huh. I will do to you. Then you think his joke, him a make? Him say, what you say in your ears. In your ears, him a go do you. All right. Well, watch this now. Holy Ghost broke me down. Holy Ghost. <laughs> yes, him a go do you. Him a fi do you. Because you tell him to do it. That's why I tell ministers, when you marry folks and you say for better and for worse, God say, what you saying on my ears, me must do you. So when you get married now, I'm better for the first three months. So you feel nice. Worse is coming. Don't pray against it. Because you say, with the pastor, you are worse. They are not to say, for better and for worse. So worse, Africa. Here you know, in sickness and in health. If you have health, praise the Lord, sickness has come. Because it's part of the covenant where you make. And if you're not sick, you're smarty for you. I'm going to feel you wait. 
Watch the church people, I'm sitting on oh, look, oh, look for me. You see this? Lack of knowledge. God says his church is the head and not the tail. So we have allowed ourselves to become tails. That's why those now who were tails originally find them way to be heads. The minority is controlling the majority. Me never know so that could have worked. Who do not get it? A minority group has legislated laws for the majority. And the majority lap their tails and accept it. The minority has implement rules and laws and tell you so you have to work with them. Is the minority. I speak to the majority. You know. I hear the majority. Alright. Let's sit down and talk. And the minority say. Okay. Let's talk. This is what I want you to do. Hear you. Alright. When? Then hear some of the church folks. I will go back to my church and advise my members. <laughs> Lord Jesus have mercy. And then the, the leaders now who are supposed to be carrying God's presence and grace bow to that and tell their congregants suffering must come to the church. Suffering must come. Because when the church should rise up in days of old you have never seen that when Samuel walked into a town as a man of God, the whole town has shake and tremble. I say, Samuel, there, Samuel, I come. Fire and thunder, the man, the people of my God, I come. Today, that not happen. But we have to get back to the original place. Okay? So we have to learn now. Words are important and we have to learn them. That's why we have the sword in hand for you to find scriptures quickly. For you to get familiar with them. When you hear me tell folks, give me two scripture. And stop. And somebody might hide and say, I don't want him to ask me. No, make him ask me. Try and not get it. Then go study and come back and read it for me. Because a day is coming when you have to walk with that Bible in your heart. Because all Bibles, them will confiscate them, will burn them and stop. You have to have the word. It says, thy word have I hid in my heart. You're going to have to be on the job and sometime pray the word or pray in tongues if you can't pray in English because of the cruelty and the things that are happening in and around your space. Sometimes you have to pray under your breath. Because, listen now, because of the challenge and the warfare. And what the enemy is doing subtly is he knows when a person is in an atmosphere charged with the word and with ammunition to fight. So guess what him do now? Raise up folks in the same place for cause division. So some people can move out of the space. So he can have you for himself. And then the, 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 the worst thing is that the people of God don't even realize. That's one of the biggest deception now. People are drifting away from God or from where God sent them into other places where God never sent them because of hurt, disappointment, or some little foolishness. Now, hold on now. Me can come to the house of God to learn about God. To manifest and get what God has for me. And me make somebody because you're in my seat or you tell life on me. Make me come out and left. And I never you me come there for. And your last name are no El Elian. No, you see, I have to break it to you that way because when I came into church first as a reasonable sinner, I was a reasonable sinner. So when I came into church before I got saved, I, I was a reasonable sinner. So, uh, okay. Me not, me not take my sin high tech. Me, me, 
me, me moderate, me, me reasonable with it. So if me sin today, me say, you know, me not sin tomorrow, but, but, but them three days they not pass me. Reasonable sinner. Now, when I came into church, this is what I discovered. I sat there and I listened and watched church folks. Now, you see how church folks did behave? It make my sinning not go and become me and say, hold on a little bit now. If me, they as a reasonable sinner, I mean, this staunch intercessor and church people as staunch sinner. I say, me think, say, I'm the devil, come here. But it look like the devil fool you. Church folks can drive you out of church. I've been in a church and hear somebody say, I can't find my cell phone. I'm on TV phone in a church. It shouldn't be because I thought when I'm coming in the house of God, may I come and love daddy. Everybody go love me and welcome me and pray for me. I'll feed me too. Give me grocery. For you come and see my face, you know, say, me have it hard. Feed me. Fan me, feed me. No, sir. Me come somebody and say, this is my seat. You can't sit here. Go over there. All right? You're sitting over there, sir. Smarty, come back to you. You have to move from here. You can't stay there. You know? You move, go over, so. All right? Smuddy, come again. You know that that seat don't belong to you. Go back under the tent. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, you go under the tent. Somebody say, you better go out of the gate. Because <laughs> 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 lick, lick. Church people. And we fall for it. And this is what I can't understand. We fall for it. Somebody come and say, the one that tell me this about you. And, the one, and we fall for it. Then that can't stop me. From serve God. We are in the earth to fulfill God's assignment for us. So God is going to lead you to places. Lead you to men of God. Lead you to women of God. Who will uplift you. Who will raise you up. So that when crisis come around you. You can stand up. You can speak to your wind. You can speak to your storm. You can speak to your tree. If we don't teach you that, then when the wind come and the storm come and the tree come, it going to overtake you. After Jesus trained the disciple, he never come back and help them. They must fend for themselves. But he taught them well. So that's why we have to teach you well. So in Jude 20, we, we read that. It says what? But you, beloved, build yourself up. Build yourself up. Founded on your most holy faith. How? Uh -huh. Make progress. Rise like an edifice. Higher and higher. Praying in the Holy Spirit. Now, okay. So, what we find is lots of folks can't pray in tongues because they are not filled. Then in some circles, they say you have to tarry to be filled. In other circles, they say you have to be squeaky clean to be filled. And if you're not filled, sin is in your life. All kind of things that we hear. But it is God's intention for every person who accepts him as Lord and Savior to be filled. Praying in the Holy Ghost is your secret weapon. You're praying mysteries unto God that the devil or nobody can intercept. So that prayer goes directly to God, one. Number two, when, you see, I use Camila's example. When you feel oppressed and low, it means you need to build up yourself. So what we should do is go into build-up mode. Build-up mode. You ever charge a, a car, a battery, you put the plug on, and in some cases, a steady rev, and then them turn the engine, you build up. Then when you move the, the thing from the battery, then the battery now, you get some gas for help for build up the battery, or build up the alternator work, and it, it build up. 
Likewise, you are built by God that when you accept him, you are supposed to invite the Holy Spirit in, get a prayer language, so that when you're low, so that when you feel down, you can what? Build up yourself. You can pray mysteries and go to your bed and get dreams and God show you what to do. You don't have to pray English where everybody hear you. And you have peeping, muttering spirit who are lurking in the atmosphere. Witches and warlock that send things in your space to listen and watch your movement. When you pray in the Holy Ghost, it sends confusion to the camp of the enemy. Only God knows what you say. But yet still so many believers are not filled. Because sometimes we as pastors... Because we get the ministry handed down. We tell them things that no go so. You can be filled right where you are. You don't have to tarry for it. As a matter of fact, it's wrong teaching, you know. Because when they say tarry for it, and when I was teaching on this first, um, a few ministers got a little upset because that's how they teach. Now, we're not here to... To start a war with, with, with any ministers because what you learn is what you learn. And sometimes it's just what is handed down to them that they carry out. But what I say to them is instead of just uh, take something that was handed down and accept it, check it for yourself. Like the same way I teach you. Everything I teach you, I said Let's, let me show you. Check it for yourself. Now the word tarry in the Bible, in the book of Acts, nobody tarried, nobody tarried for this tongue. Robo koto robo, the tongue we hear people pray now. Nobody tarried for that. Not one soul. The tarrying came for other languages. That's what the scripture said. They, they, they tarried and they were all filled with another language. So Spanish, German, history, where it is in, in Acts? Acts 2 verse 4. Acts 2 verse 4, let me show you quickly. And they were all filled. And they were all filled. The fruits throughout their souls uh -huh. with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other different foreign languages. Foreign languages, tongues, as the Spirit get, kept giving them clear and loud expression in each tongue in appropriate words now some people were speaking and they list out the country's name that some were elamites there were some that are speak spanish german whatever that are not this robocoto robo ad no it means that one me come there and the holy ghost fill me and all of a sudden me start speak spanish que tiempo hace hace mal tiempo a hace buen tiempo la boca es grande me never have that before but me leave with spanish and he said for the purpose of witnessing everywhere else in the scripture you see a laying on of hands and people were filled with this tongue. Or the word was preached and it said the spirit fell upon them and they all spoke in tongues. Nowhere else in the scripture you see anything like that. The tarin came once and it's for French, Spanish, English, German. You in your, in your spare time read the Bible from Acts 1 and you will see it there yourself. So when folks come to church and they teach people that you have to tarry, come to the altar for tongues, then when you come and you don't get filled, you feel disappointed like God let you down. It said they were all filled. Everybody can get filled one time. And for every service that, I, 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 that we are over, whether here or internationally, people get filled. People are at home and get filled. God wants you to talk to him spiritually. I tell you, just, 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 just. I have pick, 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 I have uh, put, put, put. No bother with it. You can be filled where you are. Put up my Zoom um, to the family up for me. Put them up. Let's find out is there anyone on there that are not filled. You can't pray in tongues. Show me your hand. 
one person. And who is that? N Nicolette. You're not failed. No. You're the only one upon Zoom not falling on Nicolette. And you're the only one get big award. <laughs> you want to be filled? Tonight is my night. <laughs> okay. You want to be filled now? Yes, sir. You love Jesus? With all my heart. You accept him as your Lord and Savior? Yes, I have. Okay, okay. Well, don't move. Brother Rodney, read the scripture for me to her. And we're going to do that. And then we're going to go into the exercise. Okay. Now, this is how God says you get filled. So if you're in the house as well, visiting, or you're sitting down here, and you're, you're not filled. You don't understand it. But by what I say, you may want that. Because if you're not filled with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, I'm not saying you're going to hell. I'm only saying you have robbed yourself of some other benefits. When I accept Jesus, I want everything. I want to be able to pray in English. I want to be able to pray mystery. I must pray things when nobody knows hear what I'm praying, but it's a perfect prayer. Because in, in 1 Corinthians 14, 2, it says, When I pray in tongues, I pray the wisdom of God in a mystery. Okay, she has a question. Um, oh, you want to get filled? Okay, wonderful. Anybody else want to get filled? You want to get filled? Or is a question you have? Huh? Question. Give her a mic, please. And then we're going to read Luke 11 that, that deals with that. Yes, ma'am. How do you know if or when you're filled? How? How do you know? Because based on my understanding, tongues is a gift. Correct? And uh, my observation... Hold it, hold it. A free gift. A free gift. A gift, nonetheless. It's a gift. Yes. Um, but based on my observation, yeah. it shows that many seem to rehearse. It seems rehearsed. It's like you're just repeating something that you hear. It's not necessarily in the spirit that it okay. comes forth. All right. That's just my observation. So how do you know for a fact that you are in fact filled yes. with the Holy Spirit? Okay, let me ask you a question. No, 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 no. Keep, keep, keep the mic. Where did you observe that? And how did you arrive at that? Many different churches that I've, I've visited. And what you see happen? Tell me. I see where most of the people yeah. are just saying the same thing. So if I come to this church, yeah. the, the, the language that you hear yeah. is what the pastor says. So if you speak in tongues a yes. certain way yes. that's what everybody else does all right at another church it's the same thing everybody right. just speaking it's, it's like i learn what you say or i hear what you say and i'm just repeating it okay all right let me help you you see when i pray in tongues here so i go hold on i'm here people are pray like me i may never teach them me i wonder what go on me go Canada. Me say, Rabba Kondo. Me or somebody, Rabba Baba. Me say, well, I'm a little. Awa, awa. Now, I'm saying this to you because it's a language. Watch this. Do you speak Spanish? Un poquito. A little. Okay. ¿Qué tiempo hace? Huh? Use the mic. No comprendo. No comprendo. Okay. No, I, I'm asking you the weather. I say, buen tiempo or mal tiempo. Is the weather bad? Right. No, I spoke in Spanish. Nobody no understand what I say unless you know Spanish. But it's a language. So if I said, que tiempo hace, or la boca es grande. You have a big the, mouth. I have a big mouth. Ah, you, 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 you get that. Okay. <laughs> Now, you could get that because you know the language. I am saying now, the same way if I go to Germany or France and say, La boca es grande, is the same language. 
All right, let's move that now. All right, let's talk English. Tell me something in English. You have a big mouth. Okay, watch this now. Me can say, Rodney, you have a big mouth. Or the same thing when you tell me, but him have a big mouth. How oh, him know me no copied from you? And that's the question. Yes. A how do language. You know okay. How do you know that, that, you, that the English or not? All right. How do you know that the English you're talking, you don't copy it from somebody else? Because I have my own mind to think or say what I want to say. Right. But there's a lot of people who don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see if I go simpler. Yes. The things of God that are spiritual are similar to English in the natural. But because every person's voice has a code, it registered differently to God. Give you another example. This man has a fingerprint. She have one, you have one. If all of us in here put our thumbprint on a paper, it will look the same. But is it the same? No. no. By codes and by what they would bring, everybody fingerprint different. But if we all do a thumbprint and we put them there, you're going to say, it look the same. Our language. So I could say, Roba kashende de bekata. And to heaven it means, Oh God, help me with the job tomorrow. Rodney may say something similar. That means, Oh God, lose my visa next week. Somebody might say, Roba kosatadaba hayamayai. Add two more things to it. Oh Lord, deliver my family and my household. So when it gets to heaven, that's why it says we pray the wisdom of God in a mystery. When I go to Holland, I have to have an interpreter. Now, this is what shocked me. Sometimes me say one line, I'm here the man that talks some long sitting, so I'm here, but after me, I say something, something. But it's just the interpretation of what I said. So you have some lines that are longer and you have some words that are longer. Same again in Holland. What surprised me? They were in my room till late. They were heading out. I hear them say, slap lecker. Me say, look who? <laughs> them say, slap lecker. Me say, me, me say, do it now. <laughs> now, they were saying good night. There are different things, but I'm saying tongues is a language. So by the scripture, we lead folks into how to be filled. So you're saying then yes. that if I repeat what you say, yeah. if I hear what you say and I repeat it, yeah. whether or not I know what I'm saying and I'm repeating it, yeah. I am speaking the language that is tongues and I am filled with the Holy Spirit to be speaking saying it or to be repeating it all right let me see if i come another way okay you will never be saying the same thing all the time mm -hmm. so you will find that let us say for example you start this way most people rubber 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 <laughs> now you see if you keep saying rubber by three, four days, you say, Rabba Shaka Makata Masata. No, me never teach you that. But I'm saying that's how it is. It's a language. Maybe Rabba could mean Almighty God. Almighty God. So because the Bible says we pray God's wisdom in a mystery, and also it says the natural mind cannot comprehend it. So most times with folks, we're trying to understand what we say. With spiritual things, that's why I go this route, is instruction. So listen how God operates. Um, in the heavenly realms, God will say, let there be light or light be. 
I'm going to give you this example. Rodney, get up. Rodney, he might do more than me tell him to do. Okay, Rodney, come here. Rodney, sit down. Rodney, stand up. Okay, you see all of that? I'm going to translate it now. The word of God is the same. We don't question it. We don't understand it. We act on it. God says, if you're weak, say you're strong. No, nothing else. Miss strong. Listen or we are trained. Boy, God said, so what if I feel weak? They are saying, we're not for some. But the reality is, Lord, you have to go explain that to me. Oh, no, that's not a spiritual thing. That's a natural man. The spiritual man obeys God fully. One third of the angels get kicked out of heaven for that. When God says, turn right, we say, yes, Lord. Today, turn right. Why? You have to explain, Lord. Why am I to go right? We miss God. So I'm saying now with spiritual things, there are instructions. So God said, pray my wisdom in a mystery when you pray this way. Yes, Lord. People open their mouth and them start praying. It sounds similar, but to God is something different you're saying. Now, if you keep praying that by the end of the week, you're not going to be praying the same thing that you started out with. So you're going to find that more syllables is added to your tongue that nobody taught you. All right, give you one more example as the Lord instruct me. When you have a child, you have to train the child this way. Dada, mama, you know, do it. Cow, cow, dog, dog. And the child starts say, dog, cow. One day the child goes and say, mommy, cow. Who teach him that? But you give him a start by saying some words. Then you notice after the child develop more words. They start putting the words together. Yeah. Same way. So that's why I say no spiritual things and that's why we design confessions. So confessions that we do, whether internationally or on the radio, is designed to say what the words say. So that means you're going to have to follow me. So that's why I tell business folk, don't try to understand this. Just follow me. When I said, okay, watch it. How are you doing, church? Blessed and high favor. And I'm on my kids. I'm poor. I'm full of love. And overflowing. And walking in authority. And armed and dangerous. With the word of God. I will not take on no talk. Because we are positioned for overflow. I may teach them to do that, you know. If you notice, they are doing it by themselves. Mm -hmm. Is something bad that? No. Okay. Just like Robocosata. Follow me. Robocosata. Same thing. So when they say that every day, they have what they say. So if we, the priest, comes and I say, open your mouth and speak in tongues, and I say, go, open your mouth. Roboko And you open your mouth and say the same thing. And then tomorrow you say the same thing. Suppose in the interpretation it means, Oh Lord, turn up my business. I'm a supplier. I'm a customer. Then you're going to say, because well, how will you say me? I say me now, i going to say, you have miss God. So that's why I use the example now. It's the same thing in the natural. I came here many years ago and I taught them to say after me. They followed to the point where them no need to look for nothing. I want to tell you, I walked in one of the embassies and I walked in there with my nanny at the time. And I walked in the embassy 
and I reached at the window and I said, morning. The person says, good morning, how are you, sir? I'm going to say, I'm good. Good morning, sir, how are you? I said, I'm good. <laughs> sir, good morning, how are you? Then we start saying, how about if it's a woman you there? <laughs> no, because she have an accent. So I, I said it again. I said, I'm good, thank you. She said, no, sir. No, that's not it. Let me go again. She said, sir, how are you? I said, I'm fine, thank you. And how are you? She said, no, you're supposed to say you're blessed and highly favored and I'm on a magnet and more and full of love and overflow and walking in a... I said, I must get a visa. I know I must get a visa. <laughs> Hallelujah. She said everything that we were rehearsing. The concert in the line. Everything. Me nanny know, me know me... She must get a visa. <laughs> so me touch her and say, Oh, you do? <laughs> and she really thought, and then just laugh. We had a good. So you see, we are here to teach you what to say. I just read, Jesus said, Everything I say, I say exactly what my father told me to say, and in accordance with his word. So if you can say exactly what me tell you if you say, just say. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God, I feel happy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, everybody that you see here, get breakthrough left, right, and center. Everybody. Land, host, just look around you. Promotion, some can't even talk. All kind of thing. Instantly. Jobs instantly. Some stuff, as God lead me, I will tell folks, walk around the building. Jump three times. Some people say, how this? How that? Don't try it. Just do it. Break you. That's how it works. Hallelujah. One day, you're going to be telling somebody, listen, you don't understand this thing either. Just, just, just do it. <laughs> okay. Read the scripture for Nicolette. Let's just get our fill and you at the same time. So Luke 11 verse 9. Luke 11 verse 9. So I say to you, ask and keep on asking, and it shall be given you. Yeah. Seek and keep on seeking, and you shall find. Knock and keep on knocking, and the door shall be opened to you. Yeah. Verse 10. For everyone who asks and keep on asking receives. Yes, or you could read from the King James. It says, everybody that asks, receive. And he that seeketh, findeth, and to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Yeah. Verse 11. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? No. Or if he ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Oh, no, I will not. Verse 12. Or if he ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? No, we would not do that. Verse 13. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children. Yes. How much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? All right. So God says, if you ask for it, he will give you. Full stop. No tarry. Ask, he will give you. He said, if you give your kids good gift and you are natural persons or easy to do evil and you would give good gift, he said, if you ask me, God, for my gift of the Holy Spirit, I will give it to you. So that's how you receive. Ask. Full stop. So, Nicolette, that's it. All we're going to do is lead it into a prayer of asking. That's all. All you're going to do is ask. You'll be filled tonight. If you want yes, to sir. be filled, all you're going to do is yes. ask. You too? Oh, that's all. We don't want to do nothing else. Him say ask, he will fill you. Okay? Don't try to understand it. Don't go around it. Ask, he will fill you. When you fill, just tell him thanks. If little syllables come, go on work it until more come. That's how it works. I guarantee you, if you leave and go to Puerto Rico or Canada, you're going to hear somebody talk like you. 
Because it's a language. Just like Spanish. Just like French. But the, the difference is with those, I go to a school to learn it. With this, is the Holy Ghost who will fill you and give you the language. So you know, I forgot to school for this. He comes in and fill you. So you may find that you are pray, and you and your wife sound similar only thing. They may have two little syllables different from yours. That's what distinguish it. But all the tongues will sound similar because it's a language like English. Some of we will say, me ben de go. Some say, I am going. Some say, Lord, master, me go. Hello. Are the same thing we are saying. Whether me ben de go, Lord, master, me go, or me go, or, you know, I'm going. Are the same thing we are saying. Isn't it? Isn't it the same? Yeah. Just like, Rabakato Roboko Satarbasata. No, it might not be the same for somebody, but some of the things them going sound similar. So, okay, so let's ask. So, for those who are not filled, let's ask. No, I want to make sure that everybody is saved. So, let's pray this prayer. Say, Father, I come to you right now. And you want, yes, you say to girl on the, on the, the, the zoo. Okay, let's start again. Say, Father, I come to you right now. I come to you right now. A sinner. For, forgive me, Lord, forgive me, Lord. Of, all me, Lord. of all my sins, of all my sins, and all unrighteousness, and all unrighteousness. I believe, I believe Jesus died, Jesus died, and rose again, and rose again for my sake, for my sake. I believe, I believe Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Fill me, Lord. Fill me, Lord. With your precious Holy Spirit. With your precious Holy Spirit. Lord, you said. Lord, you said. If I ask. If I ask. You will fill me. You will fill me. I ask you now. I ask you now. To fill me. Fill me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. All of you are filled. Now we're going, we, we, we are going to test it. So I want her back on the screen. All we're going to do is, those who can pray in tongues, I'm just saying, let's open them out and pray. Don't try to figure out nothing. Okay. For those who are not filled, just come to the front who want to be filled. Let's just do this. And I will check with Nicolette all the way in. Where you are? In Canada? Connecticut. In in Connecticut. So the Spirit of God has visited you in Connecticut. So you're, going, you're filled right there and we're going to test you in a minute. Okay. Come. What is this? Okay. Now, the rule is this. Don't try to figure me out. All you're going to do is when I say speak, just open your mouth. If you're going to think it through, I said, I don't know what I say. You break the rule because it says, He who speak in an unknown tongue, speak not to man but to God because nobody understands what he's saying, only God. But rest assured, it is saying, you're speaking wisdom in a mystery. Maybe your breakthrough, your deliverance, your everything you're speaking when you speak in tongues. Things that the devil can read, but it's good for you. Okay, so I'll come to the Zoom lady in a minute. Let's just do them here. Okay, or if you keep her on the screen. So, okay. So, I'm going to ask everybody who can pray in tongues to pray in tongues. The rest of you, just listen. That's all. Then I'm going to stop them and tell you, open your mouth and pray. Whatever comes, because God told me you're all filled. Okay? Whatever comes... Just open your mouth and let it, let it go. Now, you may sound like how other people sound, but you're not responsible for that. I gotta do him work. But keep talking. Now, you can't lock your mouth and be filled at the same time. Neither can you speak English and tongues at the same time. If you can't do that, you have to show me how you're doing. You have to do one. You either want to speak in tongues 
or speaking English. No other time for English is just tongues. So me know I say just oh Lord God Almighty. Oh no, don't don't do that. Don't 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 do it. Neither will you hold on on the altar and say just just don't trouble my altar. The Lord says you're failing. So you're going to stay right there and open your mouth. Okay, church, are we ready? Okay, so you just listen, okay, and relax. No fret. You're full already. Miss it. Okay. Church, let's lift our voice and pray in tongues. Roba katala baka shilibe. Roba katala baka Roba ka sheke ta 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 ba ba ba. Roba ko sende lebe kete lebe kanda ba basata. Roba katala ba sende lebe kotoro bosa. Roba ba 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 sheke te te. Roba ka sanda na ba kondo no bosa. Roba sete kata ta ta. Robo ko sete katala ba kutu. Stop church, stop. Okay, now. Everybody will go and pray in tongues now. You right here, you feel, okay? Don't fret about it, don't worry about it. You're going to just open your mouth and let the Holy Spirit have his way. Are we ready? Okay? Let's go open your mouth, pray. Go ahead, load up. Put the mic at their mouth. Let's go to Nicolette on the Zoom. All the way in foreign. I didn't say none of that. Glory to God in heaven. That's the power of God. Listen up. Where she says she is again? Connecticut. Connecticut. Listen up. Now you know much years people go to church. This is what I'm talking about. And sit there. This is a language now that is going to plunge her forward. Her breakthrough going to come. Miracle going to come. Every demon over her house is going to go. Because this is the power. The prior language. Glory to God in heaven. Results is what we talk about. Results. Hallelujah. Now all of you here, as God already revealed, hold it now, you're filled. Now, okay. Now tomorrow you do it. Next day you do it. What I'm saying to you now is, add this to your normal natural prayer. What this does is this. When you pray natural, watch this. Oh Lord, may have a supplier come tomorrow. Lord, help me. Every peeping, muttering spirit say, hey, you have a supplier come tomorrow. <laughs> all right. And they go intercept it. When you pray in the Holy Ghost, so pray English, then chip in your language because you're feeling up. Because you see, you stop now, you can start as you wish. And I'm going to show you that you can stop and start just like English. But when you pray English, then you stop and add this, the devil will know where to turn. Now you could be saying in tongues, Oh Lord, thank you that my shipment will come the best for less. Are half price. No, because him don't know where you pray. Angels move swiftly to make it happen. Sometimes you pray in tongues and by the time you go to your bed, you go and get a dream. God is going to talk to you about what you pray. Now that's the power and that's how we live. So sometimes you're in a bind and you don't know what to do. Just pray in tongues. Because sometimes it's some witch and warlock 
pin your business and have your thing pin up. And because they are working with the science, they are working with their stuff, you have to work with your power stuff. Robo Koshata, Robo Kasandai, Robo Koshata, and break it. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you pray that every day you're going to realize that more more syllables added and you're going and you're going to go somewhere where you never hear pastor say but you start go down and you start praying and you get louder and stiff yeah that's your don't lose it pray in tongues every day i guarantee you you're going to see things start turning around <laughs> hallelujah let's go to nicolette a minute my dear Glory to God all the way out there. God filled you. Don't lose that. Don't lose the language. Pray it every single day. You're filled now, sister. And don't lose that. The power of God rest in your house. And rest assured before the month of July, you're going to have more testimonies coming your way. Thank Hallelujah. You, Come on, give God praise. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God in heaven. Shake me on. Boy, you do, you, you listen to me now. I who teach you that? <laughs> Hallelujah. God had to do this tonight. You know? God had to do this tonight. Because one, you're hungry for God. And God know your challenges. And what just happened with you, it broke something off of some stuff for you. That's it. Hallelujah. So, okay. Let's just, all of us go and pray in tongues. And you, I just want to show you that you feel it, it won't go away. Okay, everybody, let's pray in tongues, including you and Nicolette in, where again? Connecticut. In Connecticut. No, you have to say it right. In Connecticut. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Let's all of us pray. Rabba kashen de deba katorobosata. Rabba kashen de deba katorobosata. Rabba kashen de deba katorobosata. Robo ko sende de bekete. Robo ko sata tata. Robo ka sende de bakata na basata. Hayama kete kato robo se. Robo ko sete. Robo ko shanda. Sete katata. Robo ko sa. Robo ko sata tata. Hallelujah. Robo ka sende de be. Ala la 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 bakoto. Shondo koto robosa. Robo ko sete katata. Robo ko sandarabakata. Yes, Nicolette, run the machine at a rabakato. Robo ko sete. Hallelujah. Robo ko sata. Robo ko sata. Robo ko sata. Strongholds are come down tonight. Every dart against your house mash up tonight. Every contract loose tonight. Every family issues turn around tonight. Every court case, hallelujah, fever release tonight. Every house, everything that the enemy has stole from you, he must give it back tonight. Rabaka Shandorobosa. Turn around tonight. Roboko Sete. Roboko Sata. Roboko Sandai. Roboko Sandai. Visa loose. Roboko Sata. Somebody get a discount. Roboko Sanda for a shipment. Roboko Sete. Roboko Sandai. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, give him praise tonight. Give him praise. Okay, let's you all take your seat now. Bless God for your feel. You didn't have to tarry. God bless you. I want to do one more exercise. And then if there are any questions, we'll take them and we close off the session tonight. Oh, what a powerful night tonight. Okay, so, so that's your language now that supersedes. So any witch, any obia, any psychic prayer, 
any evil tongue that rise up against you are darts. You may not know, you can't know, but pray in tongues. So in your quiet time, for those who have just been filled, read 1 Corinthians 14. All of 14, go into 15 in your spare time because it tells you about tongues. Okay? So you will understand a little more and you pray in tongues every day. 1 Corinthians 14. From verse 1, read all, read, read, just read all of it. It talks about tongues, what it does, the different things that happen when you speak in tongues. And I just showed you the book of Jude. It said you also build yourself up. So if you feel low, pray in tongues, it will build you up. If you feel down, pray in tongues, it will lift your spirit. So there are several benefits in it. Okay? If, if demon, if a presence of evil is around, pray in tongues. Can't stay. Okay? All right. Yeah. Do you have your Bible now, my Zoomers? You have your Bible? Let me do this exercise quickly and then we close. Everybody get your Bible. Turn to Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37. Everybody. Ezekiel 37. So what you're going to do is you're going to read verse 1 in English. Verse 2, you're going to use your prayer language. So you're going to use your finger and point on the word you see in the Bible, but you're just filled. Whatever tongue comes out of your mouth, point on each word and let the tongue flow. For example, if uh, Brother Rodney, maybe I can use you. I'm going to use him to do the first one. So Ezekiel 37, so read the first line. So I'm going to ask him to read it in tongues. Okay, now don't try to figure me out because this exercise don't happen in churches. So um, this or Monday night Bible study was something that God has personally given me to do to build the body of Christ. So I'll, I'll do exercises here that you may never hear or see before, but they are beneficial to you. Okay? So you just get filled. So use your finger because I don't want you to be doing this. No. So you're going to point your finger on every word and allow the tongue. So it will sound like this. Brother Rodney, go on. Tell us un al mi ki kara ku shi a libo ku a zizu ze li alabaku. So what is happening is, just as you ask me, your tongue or your spirit is going to form words. Now, I won't teach you that, but the Spirit of God in you is going to form words. Everybody is going to be different. Put the scripture up. So for me, watch this. El bal sol zil tan el vascu te i ma yoi ai i ze kul af sosteske zel man tol zol zipika. Zonta i vul afas. Hallelujah. So I allowed every word, my spirit, to form the syllable or the language. Good? So you're going to do that now. So the Holy Spirit in you is going to what we call now seal the language he gives you. That means now your tongue can be the same as the next person, although it may sound similar, but not the same. 
Okay? So you're going to pronounce the words differently. Now, care on your great. If I go down the line, every one of you are going to say it different. All right. Let's take a mic. Come. Let's, let's, let's just test this row here for me. Quick, 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 quick. Before we read to everybody. Come. First line. Let's go. Me not hear one thing when you say, sister. Something like, if you want a coat. <laughs> okay, go. Ye ko tele be shon de ra ko se te la ba sho. Okay, pass it to Francine. Let's go. A se rebe ko siente ro ke sia e sha. Okay, pass the mic to. Minister Violet, next time I want to see a Bible, not a phone. Okay? Watch out now. They must share a phone. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bible, Bible. Okay. Zil kol zals kos lil shkil zol mazal krish ril baskonlu. Okay, thank you. Let's just try her over here. Ma she ka ma u al e ka she ka m a e ma u e ka she ka ta ma all right you see that no nobody not sound the same so you you see what's happening so everybody is forming it based on your spirit i can't teach you that but the holy spirit now creates a language in you so what I would call El, she might say Vos, he might say Ui, that's the language. So, so when him say Ui, I mean say Vos, God know a when. <laughs> so he might call when Vush, I mean say Ul, and Bitty might say Shaka, <laughs> but God register her Shaka as when. When, when he say Ush, he know a when. When me say, Rubo, when? So it's a language, but to God, he interprets it to what the spirit that is in us says. Okay? All right. So, okay. So what we're going to know, verse 1, English, everybody. Verse 2, tongues, everybody. Verse 3, English, everybody. Verse 4, tongues, everybody. Are we ready? So I want to hear it now out aloud. Verse 1 after 3 and my Zoomers. Um, okay. I want to hear the Zoomers, so we'll do them separate. So Zoomers, I'll come back to you in a minute. Let's just do in the house first. Ready? Verse 1, go. Put verse 2 up. Verse 3. Verse 4, tongues. Wonderful. Put my zoomers up. Let's see if we, we can work this. Uh, I wonder if I can hear all of you at the same time. Okay. Let's try. <laughs> okay. Unmute all of you. Let's try verse 1, then verse, then, then, then we go to verse 2 the same way. Are we ready there, Zoomers? Okay. Verse 1, Ezekiel 37. Go. Unmute all of them if we can. I 
you see nobody mount a move? Can we unmute all of them? All right, guys, hold it, hold it. My engineers, can we unmute all of them or we have to do them one one? One one? Okay, okay, all right, okay, okay, okay. So we might get a feedback. So let me take you one at a time. Okay. Um, who do we have up? Pick somebody for me and put them up. Let's just do you and then I'll pick another person. Let's do them one one. Who we have up? Who is that? Okay. Um, what's her? Alison. 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 Hold on. Alison. Okay. It seems as if they had just unmute or some stuff them. So, okay. They are doing it. So, could you switch me to somebody else? I'm hearing all of them now. I'm hearing them. 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 I'm hearing Feel the power, brother. Feel it. Okay. All right. Let's try. I want one person. Just, just pick somebody for me, guy. Who, who, who is that that you pick? And, and just follow them for me. Let me just try verse 1 and 2. Okay. Donna, you're on verse 1 the and 2. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. Yoka putu rekunku rekelaka wukundu yekende. Rise kesoto raka salakama. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Ya Kun laku reka yunku yanaka yeke loko so rike sakundu lakun konto. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Okay, put someone else up for me and let and 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 let me just check. Uh, pick someone for me, guys, and put them up. Let's see. We just did Dana. Who else you want to put up for me, please? Identify a person and put them up. Okay. Ah, miracle girl. You ready? <laughs> Let's do English and then as you just fill and then do verse 2. So verse 1, verse 2. Are you ready? Unmute. Let's go. Can you hear me? Right, she know that she's on? Okay. Ready, sir. Ready now. Okay. So verse 1, English. Verse 2, you read it word by word by the tongue. Let's go. The hand, the hand of the Lord is upon me, and he brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of the valley, and it was full of bones. E ken dele meseke kandolo mas kese pe kendolo mese kandele kundolo pe kendele makasa glo kondolo meseke. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O oh Lord God, you know. And Kendele 
Mosoko Tuko Ekendele Kosoto Rakandolo Mesika Kondolo Mekandele Kosoko Kandele Makala. <laughs> I'm proud of your sister. Listen, listen. Everybody spoke differently. You hear that? Everybody spoke differently. And that we can uh, train. Listen, you had a wonderful night. So many things happened. You, Amazon reached you. You got filled tonight. You got breakthrough tonight. You're doing so well tonight. I am proud of you all the way where you are. And God is going to keep it going in your midst. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want the testimony because you will have testimony in the month of July coming up. Come on, give God praise for them. <laughs> Hallelujah. In the interest of time, I know I can't go um, um, all over. So I'm just going to use a few minutes now if there are any questions to take them. Okay. Okay. And I want to say for those on YouTube, we don't leave you out. I almost forgot you. But listen, you've been doing well. All the stuff that you're doing, you're on it. You're on par. And we see it. And we appreciate, and you're a part of this whole thing. And God is doing great things in your space and life as well. And I make decrees over you that as you participate, that God will turn things around. And I'm also making the decree that the seventh month, the month of July, will be one of favor, open doors, breakthroughs, and some suddenlies in your life. I'm making that decree over every person under the sound of my voice. Contracts loose, breakthroughs, open doors, favor, unexpected phone call with good news, and unexpected income. I loose supernatural things to you. Favor and breakthrough, promotions, and everything that you need, and even that you didn't know that you need. Let the Spirit of God provide it in the seventh month in Jesus name glory to God in heaven hallelujah hallelujah okay the floor is open let's do this quickly uh, if there are any questions I want to take a few and then um, brother Carl or Rodney will tie this up okay so we have accomplished a lot of stuff tonight in the interest of time uh, in the next session we will show you some other things how to pray the word, how to do some different things. Hallelujah. God is an awesome God. Hallelujah. Any questions in the house, then I'm going to ask on the Zoom. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, hold it. With the interest, we're going to use a mic. You give her the mic. Yes. When you're speaking in tongues, do you feel fire or pressure in your head? <laughs> I love it. Sister, listen, you will feel Different, different people feel different things, okay? Sometimes what you feel is the presence of God and it's removing some things that is over you and upon you. So, so that's why I feel good when people get filled because sometimes some of the things them that are on you, when you speak in tongues, you're going to feel all different things because it's strongholds, you know, that was over you, assigned to you, that a shake up. And eventually, it's going to lift. Listen, that devil vex, in vex, in vex, in vex. But that has to lift. You're fine. If you feel it, work the tongue, sister. Say, Ekorobo Chandarabasata. It has to lift. Me feel happy. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So that's fine. Some people shake. Some people say they feel heat in the hand, in the legs and stuff. Normal. Okay. Any other question in the house? Yes. Let me, let me take her before I go to Zoom. Yes. Yes, Punsi. Yes. <laughs> Good night, sir. Good yes. night, sir. Yes. Apostle, I was just confirming something that you said about speaking in tongues. Because I, um, the, it was recently, a good little time now, I was in, where do I live, is where a lot of struggle. Sir, by Warlock, 
which is all kind of different stuff. Even one time I was talking about the cobia and all of these things. So I'm the only person that they are like in that environment that come to church. My siblings there don't know about God. They came or they went, but I'm the one that stays. So I learned the word and all these things. So the pressure was on me mostly because uh, they do not know the word of God. So when the, the Holy Spirit pointed out certain things to me, and I said to them, it seems like if I'm a troublemaker, I'm, I, if I'm making problem, but they did not see what I see. But it was warfare, sir, so I did have to use the word. So I remember at one appointed time, I came to church and I sit here, was speaking to Minister Violet, and she said to me, said, Natalie, I need you to pray more in the Holy Ghost because when you pray in the natural, um, the enemy can track what you're saying. So, sir, I took the advice and I work the word and i pray in the holy spirit the warfare by learning the word so by saying the warfare scripture and using the holy spirit to back it up sir i remember there were this particular lady in the place she were doing stuff that is not normal so the, when i started to speak in the holy ghost she would get confused jittering up and down because whatever she's doing it is not happening because the power of god were there so every stronghold, I, when I use the word, sir, I just destroy every plot of the enemy. And they could not understand it, what is taking place there, even though I explained to him, Sir, even you know that when you're coming to church and your sibling is not in the house of God, you can't see eye to eye because they don't understand the Holy Spirit. So um, there was like some stuff is there that it came in a lot of form of insect, sir, like fatty leg. Ants, I remember one time I came to church and you called about these ants and you said, this one is strange. And you said, everyone that is facing this ant situation came into the line. I was one of them. My daughter-in-law was one of them. Sir, we have experience with rat. We have it with roach. Sir, it was like a combo of things like never before. So I used to wonder and I said, what is this? So in the thing that I came to church and I learned the word of God and I stood on the things of God, that is when I overcome the situation. And when you give an instruction, I do follow it. So I said, no, in the name of Jesus, every strong old lad is a place you have to come down. So we use the word of God and we start to pray in the Holy Ghost. The lady that were occurring doing these things, sir, she feel uncomfortable. It's like no peace because it's like fire were on earth, sir. And eventually... God has come true for us. And tell you the truth, I am alive today because of what I know and because of the teaching that I took and follow the obedience of the things of God. So, sir, what you're really saying is really true and we have to obey it because there's no demon in the pit of hell can fathom the things of God when we speak in the Holy Ghost. Sir, That's sir, right. so we, and really and truly, the word of God is quick and sharp and powerful. And, sir, my children are alive today because I remember when I came here and there was a situation about my son and you took me out and you said to me, you called my brother name and I stood there and you said, um, I see they want to do this and they want to do that to your son and you speak the word and you declare something sir and actually everything that you say is being done it's not by you sir but it's by the power of God and the authority of God so sir I'm here tonight to encourage somebody and someone and sir I'm here to ask to so thank you for being obedient to the things of God sir I thank you for this privilege and honor and I tell you I take it with my whole life sir my children they are not in the word of God, but, sir, I know they will be there as I continue to stay in the realm of the things yes, of God. My dear. Sir, sir, I thank you tonight. Yeah, I no. implore you and pass, and I thank you for your obedience that many of our life are being saved because, sir, I'm telling you, if, I, if you did not yeah, answer sister, your call. Sister, yeah, man, I understand. I know you're full, but I want to go to the Zoom. All right? <laughs> go ahead, God. Hallelujah. Thank God the rat them gone and the ants gone. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's go to the, the Zoom. Yes, ma'am. Um, yes. Unmute, please. And tell me where, what part of the world are you? I'm in Lebanon, Pennsylvania, in the U.S. Pennsylvania. Okay. Go yes. ahead. I have three things. One, I want to thank you for your teaching. It has been amazing um, watching night after night and on Sundays. I really enjoy your word and I've been growing spiritually, which I've been loving that. And I want to share a testimony 
where I sowed my seed in the building fund. I wanted to share it Saturday, but we didn't have enough time. Okay. And I sold for a promotion, but then in my job, the company hasn't having financial issue and they called me up for layoff considering that I was a new person. But then in space of two days, I got a different job that pays me more. So which I'm super excited about and that is such a blessing. Glory to God. And my third thing is for my first seed, I do have a church here. Is it okay to split that where I can do half an hour in is that a thing? Okay. All right. Um uh, okay. Now however are you hearing me? I'm hearing somebody else's background so I can Okay, I somebody else is on. Could you mute other persons and allow her to for me to talk to her? Okay, are you hearing me now? The devil no one you know where if you do it, you see. <laughs> okay, can you hear me now? Unmute her for me, please. Hello? Right. I am hearing you now. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Let's come back to her. I can hear you now. Okay. You can hear me now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wonderful. I'm saying if you if you have another church there and you feel led to do that then you can go ahead and do that okay um, mm -hmm. i always say to folks the scripture says you you give your seed to your storehouse so anywhere that you're learning you're growing you're developing you're getting answers you're getting breakthrough then that will be your storehouse okay so if you're going to a church over there and you're benefiting from that church, some other way, some form, and that's how you feel led, you can do that as well. Okay? Okay. So, so be, be, be so free or allow God to talk to you in terms of what you need to do with the seed. Okay? Okay. But mm -hmm. that's fine. Hallelujah. Let's Thank take someone you. else on it. Who has a question? Is there anyone else on it? Indicate with a show of hands if you have a question. And if so, let me know where you're from and then you ask. Who is that? Need to do with the sea. Okay. okay. You're on. Answer. You're on. Who is that? Where, where are you from? Let's take someone else on it. Unmute and talk to me. Uh, Indicate with a show of hands. Okay, go ahead. What's his name? Huh? You're on. You're on. Go ahead. Just unmute and speak. Let me know where you, where are where you're from. If you have another instrument on, maybe that's why you're having the delay. So get that one off and focus. Okay. Um, and put him back on if he is connected or reconnect. Good night, Apostle. Yes. Um, I'm from, I'm located in the U.S. I am in California. Okay. So my question is, um, I know that you had mentioned some time ago that you would like teach on tongues. So what I want, well, it's not a question. It's like a request. I know that you'll have to seek the Lord and stuff like that. But in regards to speaking in tongues, I know that you have um, different type of tongues or different levels. Right. I know that you can um, pray, sing, and now you just 
taught us how to like read in um in the spirit right so if it's a case where you can teach us more in depth on that one like how to pray how to talk to god in tongues how, yeah, how, yeah, yeah. and when we should like go into the supernatural realm where realm when praying and stuff like that so if it's a case where you can like teach on tongues itself that would actually be great because I'm learning from you, and since I've been, you know, joining and listening and basically interacting with your teaching, I've learned a lot. And I eat, and I'm even speaking in tongues. And sometimes I'm like, "What am I saying? Or what am I saying? Am I saying something right? Am I saying something wrong?" But then I remember, or the Lord would, rem would remind me that, "Hey, remember what Apostle said. Sometimes you, the mind, cannot comprehend what you are speaking." So I just continue to speak it. And um, yeah, so my request is if it's a case where you can teach on tongues itself so that I or everyone else can have like a better understanding. So like when we're praying, we know that, okay, we are praying to God. And if it's a case where we can chip into that, the supernatural realm or something like that. I don't want to go continue going on, but that's the request that I have okay. for you. Normally yeah. on a Monday is when we do the practical. So I'll get into all of that. Um, I said earlier in terms of how you pray, how to use the language, word, tongue, whatever. So we can get into all of that. But it has to be, that's why I said on a Monday is designed for practical questions. Mm -hmm. And you learn more, okay? Um, right. um, so Mondays normally is a developing time for individuals. And so, um, if you want to get more into the things of God, learn how to pray and the different things, then that's when we set that time. So, it will happen um, on a Monday. So, we will target that. So, you keep tuning in and you will uh, benefit from that. Okay? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Wonderful. Come on, give God some praise in the house. Okay. All right. So... Okay, so let's just invite Brother Rodney. At this point, he'll do the rest. We'll ensure that who must get their Amazon thing will get it. And I trust that um, you learn something tonight and that you will continue um, on it. And when you have your testimonies, we want to know as well. Okay, it's important to share it so other persons can benefit from it. Hallelujah.